let's have a look at what we have. It's a bit shiny, that's the wash. Now oh, that was sweating. That was a big fella, you never know. So <clears throat> we're going on with um, the highlighting procedure now. So for that we need our highlighting colour, which is the base colour that we used. Uh, so that's the Bugman's Glow. And we'll be putting that over anywhere that the light is going to hit. And we're trying to make it with the strokes. Make the shape. So where it's round we're trying to do like a round um, stroke, circular stroke. And uh, I did put another wash on this as well. So it's, it has had two washes, but it's just the mid-brown wash. Um, I didn't put anything else on it. Um, so don't. So you've not missed anything really. And while I'll be waiting for this to dry, I've been editing the videos for the other minis that I did the other day. So that should be going up. Um, so far, I think I'm on the fifth video of it. Um, <laughs> now it's a long process that one. I'm afraid, but it was because I did four minis at once, and I should have really only done two. But as I say, I really wanted to get them up and running, um, ready for use. So what I'm trying to do here is avoid um, avoid the recesses. And uh, if you see any marks on my hand, I've been doing a little bit of gardening while as well. While I've been waiting not only for the videos to um, convert, but also. Um, Laddie needed to go out, so I took him out and well, was out. I did a little. Just, I'm saying gardening. I just put some. Um, what's the word? I'm looking for some some trail in the bealia in a hanging basket kind of thing. So. I um. I'm keeping myself busy. At the moment. And I'm also doing my best to try and keep everything in camera shot because I failed miserably with the last video uh, with the last minis I did. So before you watch those I apologize. <laughs> um I was too busy in what I was doing rather than what the camera was focused on, which technically is not a very good thing for when you're trying to do videos. Um, I did actually go off the camera a few times. I was trying to show you something, so those bits are sped up. Um, This wash has changed the, the value of Bugman's Glow quite a bit. I wouldn't have thought it, but it didn't look as though it had. And I suppose with having two washes on it, it's turned it up a little more than, would, than I expected. But 
One thing I'm not really too keen on is the glossiness. I'm on account of everything I suppose. Um, so I'm going over all muscled areas or to the recesses because I want this to look as you know as the actual colour of the skin. So um I'm kind of like putting this everywhere. It's not class. I'm not classing this as a highlight. <coughs> um, I'm trying to. And when I say I'm putting it everywhere, I'm putting it on all the muscles. I'm not putting it in the recesses because that would lose all this nice shadow area we've got. Um, that probably won't help matters. I'm totally negate the reason why we put um, the wash in the first place. So this part is going to take a little time I'm afraid. Um, but I do want to show you everything I do as best as I can and that means sometimes I accidentally go off camera and I do apologise because I'm too busy focused on trying to get the paint exactly where I want it and sometimes I miss the fact that I've got myself in a comfortable position to paint in and it's totally off camera and it's funny because I search I want to start off and get into a good, set the camera up pointing into a good and comfortable position to paint in and I find a better one. <laughs> oh well, one of those things. So all this is a very nice fleshy colour. over certain areas a couple of times because I want it to be much much brighter than it actually is. Alright, oh, get formed off again. Press it on a bit more. Okay, so it's this leg and then the head and for the head I'm going to change brushes because I want to get in with a finer brush for that area That is everywhere covered. Not quite. Um, any parts that do look a bit glossy at the moment will get um, dulled down by the matte varnish that I'm going to put on it. So don't be concerned about that. Um, I don't usually show the varnishing procedure, it's just a case of spray it all over. Um, so now we're looking at the face details and as you can see now I've, I've changed brush into my um, number zero rosemary and coal Kalinsky Sable series 8 
I'm going to try and no. I couldn't get those shallow um, creases in his forehead to, um, to hollow it individually, which is a bit of a shame. But, not to worry. So I'm looking through to try and find oops, I've not done this area. Not here. See, it's not a case of just slapping paint on now, you've got to be really careful where you apply it. And try and keep as steady a hand as you can. Brace your, head, brace your wrist against a tabletop or whatever when you're doing this, just to give yourself a little bit of extra steadiness. And then we'll make sure that the much brighter areas will get um, the highlighting that they need. There we go. Hopefully, we'll give a good basis for highlighting. It looks like it will do. So next, we have the shorts. I'm sticking with this particular brush because we've got some good. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? We get some good effects. With it, with it being quite a, a thin brush. Um, now it's not had the same effect with this particular paint as it did with the skin colour. It doesn't look as though it's um, adjusted the depth of the tone but I'll keep applying this paint and bringing out the brightness where it needs to be brought out Yeah. As we said, this is the mid tone, this is the actual colour that these shorts 
are aiming to be. I'm saying shorts, it depends on what you're painting. Earlier it was flesh, so the bubbling's glow showed you what the flesh colour was and the shade. The, sh um, the wash that we put on earlier shows what the shadow value is. And now we will just make sure that all the areas we want this colour is done this colour. As you can see I'm not bothered about getting all the edges underneath because that's a good separation line where that dark colour is. I do want to make sure that it's uh, that where we do paint this it's going to be a A flat colour at the moment. I don't want it looking patchy. I think that will do to be honest. And as you can see I'm not um going into the recesses. I'm trying hard not to go into the recesses because that will just spoil everything that we're trying to do. Now then, we want to mix some more of that boot colour I think. You know we have still some of that. I'm going to add some of the um, spaceship exterior into it. That's not the boots. So what I will do is exactly the same as we did with the shorts and the skin and just go around. any <clears throat> areas that are too too much for to try and um, cover with the point of the brush use the side of the brush that will do them both at once whoops says he making the mess of what I was doing <clears throat> never mind so that one done and now this one and as you can see we're doing much more of a detail job on these gloves than we did for the human fights and that's because these gloves are so much bigger and I don't think we'll get away with just a simple uh, dry brush on these So that's why I'm not just doing a simple dry brush on these. Again. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just looking for where all the shadows will be in the highlights next to it and then I can just quite simply paint where I need to sometimes it's easier than others I didn't find any problem at all with the smaller minis but with this one I'm seeming to find an awful lot of trouble trying to find the areas to paint but yeah that's the way the ice cube melts well there we go oops went off camera then so that's the first highlight there I will do more later on but now I want to do the highlight for the boots and the boots was this colour with dark stone I believe Making sure you get on the uppers. I'm not bothered about going around the sole. Around the edge of the sole rather. I just want to make sure that the boots uppers are done. <clears throat> As you can see, it's a very, very, very dark coloured boot. Um, it does indeed look as though it's a very worn boot, and that's what I am looking to achieve with this colour. I want it to look worn. And bashed about and used. I don't want it. I don't want it to look as though he just got it out of the box straight from the shoe shop. There we are. That will do fine. <coughs> now I'm going to come in with some matte white <clears throat> first I'm going to dry a little bit because there's a lot of excuse me there's lots of surface water on this <clears throat> I think it's diluting some of the paint so I'm going to put a little bit of this on And then I'm going to mix a little bit of that in with a little bit of that. And we'll get on down and do the, the waistcoat. see where I've put this yep just about um, this is basically grind it up a little I don't usually I just as you know I don't usually highlight up to white but in this case because it's a white top I am doing 
Um, I'm making sure that this is bright. There we go. As you can see, my hand is shaking quite a bit. <laughs> no, that's possibly not a good sign that I should be doing this right now, but. <clears throat> to get it done so at least I guess I've got one team done and then next time we come to paint we can start on the goblins and the ox and uh, I'm not going to do them the same as I did the humans I'm going to do the two goblins focus on the two goblins for one video focus on the two um, ox on another video and then focus on the troll another video and even then it might go into multiple videos That is the waistcoat. So I'm not going to go any higher with this. What I'm going to do, however, is head into the seam there with just some um spaceship exterior. <clears throat>